Malcolm was elected as Nanza's new Secretary General with his deputy as Strife Mahwa. The student body also created new portfolios being recruitment, mobilization and special programs and technical and vocational education. The new Nanza president, in her acceptance speech, urged the government to accelerate the development of student village. Has welcomed the inclusion of the development of the student village in the 2022-2023 budget of the Ministry of Higher Education, Technology and Innovation, and therefore calls on government through the ministry to expedite the development of the student village. We expect our students to move in on the 1st of January 2023 as student accommodation remains a critical barrier for students and for trainees in accessing institutions of higher learning. Ndishishi also called on the public to be vigilant and report private institutions that are exploiting students' funds on non-accredited qualifications. These institutions continue to exploit students' funds, provide them with unaccredited qualifications, and offer redundant courses. The National Executive Committee has been tasked with exposing these institutions and through the necessary ensure their closing and deregistration. De Among the issues discussed include the shortage of mental health professionals in educational settings need to modify the curriculum, to make work integrated learning mandatory and for NAMCO to commence with tutoring during school holidays. NANSO also urged NSFF to fund every student and trainee in the country. The Congress also touched on the issue of lack of classroom and urged all schools to have fully functioned sanitary towels dispensers.